So far, we've only looked at functions that can take a specific number of arguments. However, sometimes we'll find that when we write our function, we won't know how many arguments the function is going to be passed when it's called later on in the script. Perhaps the function is going to be called several times, and the first time it's going to be called with three arguments, the second time with ten arguments, and the third time with no arguments at all. We'd need a flexible function that can handle a variable number of arguments. Let's take as an example a simple function that is going to list some ingredients. And let's say we assume that our food product, whatever it is, is going to have only three ingredients. We can simply list them like this and so long as there are only three ingredients in our recipe then we shouldn't have a problem. Let's say we call the ingredients function with three arguments. Flour, eggs, and sugar. Now, if we go over to our browser and refresh, we'll see that it handled it fine with three ingredients. However, if we add an extra ingredient, then we're going to have problems in that the function won't be able to pick it up. And if we take away two of those ingredients to leave two arguments when we call our function, as we can see, even worse, we get this very ugly error popping up, missing argument three for ingredients. Now that is a bit of a problem, as we can see. So any calls made to this function without the full three arguments that we've specified here are going to throw up an error. Any, f any calls made to the function with more than those three arguments, the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and so on, arguments are all going to be ignored. So we need a way of making this a lot more flexible. Help is at hand as of version 4 of PHP with the inclusion of a certain number of functions to handle variable arguments when functions are called. And these functions are called func numargs, func get arg and func get args. And here's where it gets a little confusing. These functions can only be called from within another function. Otherwise they themselves will throw up some kind of error. Now what each of these functions does, the first one returns the number of functions in this function in the function from which it was called. This function will return a specific argument, the value of a specific argument, and you have to specify that as the argument to the fun get arg function. And this argument, uh, I beg your pardon, this function will return an array containing all the functions in the parent function. Right, let's see how we implement those, and hopefully this will begin to make sense. We'll just use a simple for loop to 
loop through the arguments. And we can use, this is where we use typically the func num args function. And then we can use the func get arg function along with the number of the loop as the number of the function of the number of the argument that we wish to call we better put in a line break after that as well let's save that and take a look in our browser as we can see ingredient O is flour, ingredient number one is eggs we're still getting this error message because simply because I forgot to take out these here now when we call a f when we define rather a function with a variable number of arguments we can just leave this these brackets which normally contain the arguments of the function completely empty we just open them and close them again that way when we come to run our function we will only be accessing the functions such as func num args in order to get at the arguments rather than trying to access the arguments directly through here. So let's try this out with and I have no idea what this would taste like in these proportions well let's take a look to see if our function is working as we can see it can handle as many ingredients as we throw at it. You may not need to use functions that contain a variable number of arguments until you have started using quite complex structures in your scripts. But it's good to be familiar with the territory and to know the kind of things that you can and can't do within PHP even before you start using them yourself. So I recommend you have a play around and try to create your own functions with variable number of arguments.